Michael Lim, cardiologist at SLU Care and SSM Health SLU Hospital. Good morning once again, Dr. Michael Lim. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Looking New good Year. in that uh, very dapper bow tie I like this that morning. Bow tie. Very trying, nice. Trying very, to warm things up a little. Very dapper. Um, hypothermia this time of year. I heard the hospital is getting quite a number of uh, <laughs> hypothermia cases. Uh, well, Kelly's presenting, preventing it. She's got her coat on <laughs> and, and her I'm, scarf I'm and her ready gloves. To go, huh? <laughs> so she's she's all about prevention. Uh, this cold weather is pretty bad, yeah. right? Um, and uh, any exposure to cold weather is is very hard on the body. Right. Uh, and we need to be very very careful. Yeah. Uh, and even if you're not outside, uh, you know the. There's a bunch of people, you know, when we hear about, say, hypothermia cases being brought into hospitals, we think, well, uh, well, there's a lot of unfortunate people who live on the streets, and it's probably them. They have no shelter. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, But there's a lot of unfortunate people who actually do have a roof over their head, but they don't have heating in their homes or they can't afford to to heat their homes. And so, uh, you know, these temperatures will continue to... Uh, create problems for them as well. Yeah. Also, people who right turn the stove on to heat their house, mm-hmm. um, right start a fire in the house. Yeah. A space heater in the house. A lot of a lot of issues with that. Uh, Chief Jenkerson from the from the fire department always talks about how how dangerous those things are. Space heaters put in the wrong places. There's always fires uh, that start up in these types of uh, conditions where uh, we see firefighters throwing water on burning buildings right. because those things happen the wire water turns into icicles and ice uh, it's really hard for the firefighters and then people are out of their, out of their homes uh in the cold weather uh cold weather is bad all the way around you know so this time of year is a spike for heart attacks uh the highest number of heart attacks occur in december january and february uh, versus any other time of the year because uh, it stresses the body when when do you know frostbite or hypothermia is setting in yeah well, I think uh, in your fingers, it's going to start tingling. Uh, they still have a little bit of sensation in them, and then uh, then they then they sort of go numb. Um, and that's uh, probably way past uh, when you should be inside or getting them warmed up. And so uh, I think you need to limit your exposure to a very, very short times outside. Uh, when you start feeling tingling in your fingers or your toes, uh, you need to get those warmed up. Uh, you need to cover up your head. You need to cover up your face, uh, especially in the wind. Uh, any exposed skin uh, can definitely lower your body temperature very, very, very quickly. What about, uh, wh- I see quite a number of runners running in this weather. Yeah. So there's uh, a great uh, concept that they've been able to put together with respect to athletic gear. So it's not necessarily the thickest of material, but they have several different layers. And uh when you get, if you're able to get out and get running and start, and you generate your own body heat, and if you're wearing the right type of clothing, especially with a hat to keep that heat from from getting out the top of your head, uh, and you keep the heat close to the body, and as long as you're still moving, that's probably still okay. Right. Again, you want to cover your face, you want to cover your head, and you want to have the right type. Uh, of uh, clothing on to keep that body heat close to the skin so you don't lose it. And I'm seeing kids, you know, waiting for the school bus, people who are waiting for city buses or, um, you know, on the um, subway. Absolutely. The metro. Uh, You know, try to do everything you can to stay out of the wind. Hat on, scarves, gloves like you're showing. You're the perfect example, <laughs> Kelly. You, you, need, you, need, you need to be the, the, the poster child for, for how your kids need to get out there and, and wait for the school Unfortunately, bus. Unfortunately, she's inside <laughs> at, am, in the studio, yes. so it shows you how I, I'm sure there. there's other layers that, that <laughs> happen when she goes outside. Yes. But, uh, but you know, you want to bundle up, and you want to you stay out of the wind and keep, keep the exposed skin f- to a minimum. Exercising outside, though, um, going back to runners for a second, that's actually kind of enjoyable to be out running in this if you can... Right, get get through the initial first couple of minutes of it being cold and get up a sweat. It's actually kind of enjoyable. There are a bunch of people who think that that's true. I think there's also another issue with respect to uh, uh, sort of more beginners or novices. I guess I would put myself in that category. When right. I breathe in that cold air uh, and that cold air gets into my lungs, I, that that hurts right. uh, and causes pain. And so a lot of people wear uh, kind of a uh, a muff that goes over right. the, the face, and, yeah. and so mm-hmm. you kind of breathe in and you kind of keep warm 
uh, air kind of coming in and out if you can. Uh, but they get a big high out of running in the cold. Uh, it's probably a lot easier than running in the 99 degree uh, weather. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that heart attacks occur more this than this time of year. Yeah, wow. so it, uh, there's a co- couple different things. One is the cold weather is a stressor on us. Two, um, the holidays are a stressor and all the other things that go on. And then you think about what you have to deal with in the cold weather. You're trying to figure out how to uh make your money last for all of january and you know the heating bill is going to be huge and you just went through all these added some more expenses for for the holidays and uh the days are the shortest this time of year and so there's not much sunlight there is a seasonal affective disorder that is real uh and you can't go outside or you can't do anything you feel like you're cramped in and so Mm -hmm. it's a i think it's a, a a combination of all of these things put a stress on you and, and those stressors are the ones that lead to a higher risk of heart attacks. Dr. Michael Lim, good stuff um, as always. Lastly, um, alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol doesn't warm you up. No, it does not. Actually, alcohol will dilate your blood vessels and get the blood vessels closer to the skin. Uh, when the blood vessels are closer to the skin, you will lose heat. Uh, and so that's what happens in the summer when, when, you, when you want to lose heat and you're trying to lose heat. Uh, doing it when it's really cold, uh, there's no way for the body to keep that heat in. As the blood flows through those blood vessels right near the skin surface, you will lose heat. So alcohol may feel warm going down as you swallow it, but it's probably one of the worst things you can do. Dr. Michael M., cardiologist with SLU Care and SSM Health SLU Hospital. Thanks, Doc.